there is medical and scientific evidence today that if you are pleasant for twenty-four hours, without a moment of anxiety, irritation, agitation, if you're just blissful for twenty-four hours, your intellect, the sharpness of your intellect could go up one hundred percent. Really? Yes. Your body and mind functions way better. Medically, scientifically, we can prove it today. Your blood chemistry will change. Everything about you will change if you just remain very joyful and for how twenty-four hours. Do we hours. that? Do we meditate? We do yoga. <laughs> we what? How do we get there? Uh, I wouldn't want to use the word yoga because when I see the yoga that people are doing in the West, particularly in America, it's not right. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it scares me. <laughs> Why? Why? Because it's a sub it's a very subtle technology. It's not an exercise. Ah. People think it's an exercise. Mm -hmm. If you want to just stay fit, play tennis, swim, climb a mountain, you will be fit. You don't have to do yoga for that. See, the yogic system is a profound science of aligning the geometry of your body with the cosmic geometry. When I say aligning the geometry of your body with cosmic geometry, what we need to understand is that solar system is, w is working like a potter's wheel to generate this body. The Adiyogi, the first yogi, over fifteen thousand years ago said this, unless human body evolves further, there are no other ways. And human body cannot evolve further unless there are some fundamental changes in the solar system or the arrangement of the planets. Today, the modern neurologists are saying something very similar, it's uncanny that they're saying something very similar after fifteen thousand years, is the big question that a lot of people are asking is, can human brain evolve further? So now they're saying the physical laws, not the neurological principles, the physical laws will not allow human brain to evolve further because the only way it can evolve is you can increase the size of the neuron or the number of neurons in the brain. If you increase the size of neurons, the amount of power they will consume, the amount of energy that they will need will be too taxing for the body. Even now as you sit here in a restful condition, twenty percent of your energy consumption is by the brain. It's such a small part. Okay. It's consuming twenty percent of your energy right now, eighty percent is by the remaining part of the body. You have seen if somebody worries a lot, they lose weight. True. I do that. <laughs> I do. So a lot of people are slim, maybe not by exercise, they're just worried. <laughs> so? so, if you increase the neuronal size, the physical loss will not permit it. And if you increase the number of neurons, the clarity that you have will go away. So they're saying because of the physical loss, physical loss are essentially are a consequence of the way the planet is moving in relation with the sun and the other planets for us. So unless the physical loss change, which means unless some drastic changes happen in the solar system, the human brain cannot evolve further. This is modern neurology. This Adiyogi said fifteen thousand years ago that unless some basic changes happen in the solar system, human body cannot evolve. These are the only ways you can do it. He said you can only learn to use it better and better, but you cannot evolve it further. <laughs>